Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my newest Let's Play. This is a PS2 game called Road Trip. Uh, it has a couple of different names, uh, depending on where it was released. I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but, uh... Yeah, this is an old PS2 game. Um... I'll talk more about what the game's about when we actually get in, but it, the basic concept is it's an open-world car-driving game. Kind of a little cartoonish, meant for younger audience, and I played this when I was younger, so I, you know, got the nostalgic, uh, nostalgic goggles on and everything. But you uh, travel around the, the open world and you compete in races to be pretty much the champion, and eventually, uh, for some reason, the, the premise of the game basically is that the, the president of this world here, um, every, everybody's cars, by the way, so the, the president of this world here, who obviously is a car like everyone else, uh, has decided that he doesn't want to be president anymore, but he doesn't want to just give it to anybody. He wants to give it to the best racer in the world, because racing is, like, all that people care about in this world. So, um, basically, he's going to challenge whoever can win, like, the, the, the World Grand Prix, basically. So that's what your goal is. Your goal is to um, go from town to town buying upgrades for your car, um, and uh, basically just just be the best racer and become president of this world eventually so yeah uh, it's pretty cool it's it's like I said it's very much aimed at a younger audience um, but it's I've got the nostalgia goggles on and they are glued to my face but uh, I think it's uh, I still I still think it's a fun game enter my name oh I suppose I'll use my real name it's been on my channel before in my uh, co-op nah nah Let's, uh, where's the back button? Back button? Let's just go with, uh, Halo, because for now, at the time of recording, this is my gamer, my username, um, is Halo Newbie. Uh, currency. I'm American and boring, so I'm just gonna go with the dollar sign. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's a little underwhelming, but, um, yeah. And this is, uh, this is where you get the, the prologue, pretty much, of what's going on. And yes, the headlights blink while they talk and, and all of that, and that's how they speak. It's not Morse code, though. It's just random blinking, but... I don't know. I, it, it's kind of neat, I guess. It's, uh... It's a very different kind of game. As uh, you'll definitely see as we get into it here, but... Pretty much everyone, like, this is one of those games that not a ton of people have played, but from what I know, people that have played it usually really like it. Also, the car that you start with is randomly generated. Well, not completely. It picks from a selection of customization or customizable options. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it picks a random body from all of the different ones in the game and gives you that and a random color. So, this is uh, talking about how we need to get the a, a, um, a certain grade of license uh, so that we can participate in the World Grand Prix. And once we have the A license... Yes, I got it. So, enter a race from every Q's factory. It's a type of building. We'll see that in a moment here. And for now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do our first race, because why not, right? So we gotta start in rank C. And we uh, would do not expect to win this one, but definitely try as hard as you can. You can do decent here, but don't expect to win. And it's not a super complicated racing mechanic. There's nothing like, uh, you know, oh, don't spin the tires or, you know, anything like that. So it's not a super complicated uh, racing game. And as you can see, I cannot turn particularly well. So there's a lot of... Uh, Upgrades still being made to our car in terms of the tires, the steering, the brakes, engine, all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty cool. And there's even some really crazy stuff that's just totally fictional and, and just really cool uh, much later on, which we will get to. I don't know if this will be a 100% of the game, but I definitely wanted to uh, beat the main premise of the game, obviously, and then, of course, try to show off any of the, uh, the extra, like, cool stuff that's in here, too. Of which there is plenty. So, doing, like, surprisingly good right now, actually. Eh. I, uh, I'm not the best racer in the world, so don't expect too much from me here. 
I might make some silly mistakes every once in a while, so, you know. Uh, we might, uh, maybe we can get first if we do this right. Teardrop the turns, like this. Uh-oh, where are you going, buddy? Stay high, stay high. No, you jerk. Well, if anything, he'll help me get through the turn. Ah, see, he's got me in the turns, but I can get him in the straights. Well, maybe. I guess not, never mind. Um, this is gonna come down to this last turn here. He's going way up in that grass. Uh, I'm, I'm squealing too much here. Oh, maybe, maybe. No, no. Ah, all right, well, it was very close. Considering we have literally zero upgrades right now, I will take that. And it shows you a little replay of uh, some certain parts here, so. There was the, the brief moment where I was in front of him. Anyways, we'll skip the replay. We don't need to see that. We just saw it. So, um, here we go. So, for second place, we got 500 bucks, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. Not too, not too bad. But, uh, that was okay. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the parts real quick. Let's see what we can do for parts on myself. Um... So there's tires, engine, chassis, transmission, steering, brake, wheel. Wheel is cosmetic only, so that doesn't change anything. Lights are cosmetic. Wing set, uh, cosmetic. Special parts, options, pretty much uh, from the wheel down is cosmetic. Well, not entirely. We'll get into more of that a lot later, but um, basically you have, what, six main categories of upgrades right here. Um, so yeah, those are the parts that I can look at, but I don't actually have any parts to buy, or well, I have to go to another store to buy parts. So, um, yeah, well, let's go ahead and drive around town and, uh, and check out this first town here. Peach Town is where we start. Peach Town, in case you couldn't hear me very well there. Um, but yeah, here it is. It's, it's just, it's an open world game where you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. So you have a little mini-map down there. Brown indicates normal buildings. Black indicates these things here, which are, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Like what that's supposed to say, P-U-T-I. I don't, I, I just call them quick pick shock, uh, shops, quick pick shops, because that's kind of what they're unofficially referred to as, as far as I know. Um, and basically all you do with these is you just drive inside of them and you can like take a picture of your car at a certain background. Not insanely like, wow, look at that, you know, but it is a form of collectible in the game. Um, and when you get to one, they tell you where the next one is. So that's kind of handy if you're going for those. I have collected all of them before, but it was so long ago, I don't remember what the reward is, to be honest. Um, so yeah, and you can find like FAQs that tell you about all that stuff. So a couple of important buildings is the parts shop, of course. This is where you're going to be getting most of your upgrades from. So if we go in here and talk to the, uh, so for some reason it's an ice cream truck, but, uh, so we have tires, engine, chassis, transmission, steering brake, and then a few of the cosmetic items as well, such as, uh, wide beam fog lights, um, different, uh, wheels, a wing set, special parts, options, all these things will will open up a lot wider once we get through the game, uh, start moving through. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. So, there's a couple different types of uh, tires, and they tell you what they're good at, so sports you'd expect to be better on on roads and whatnot, and the off-road, of course, is, is better on off-road, but um, in these cases, these are not too uh, different from each other as far as off-road goes. Where you have an advantage is the on-road. Um, so that could be useful. Engine, um, I, th I don't even remember what engine we have right now, but probably something a little bit worse than this. Um, he doesn't have any chassis or transmission for us right now. I think the steering is going to be critical. Um, as you could see in that last race there, we were struggling with that a little bit. So we'll get that for now, but let's go check out what else is around. I uh, have not 100% decided how I want to do episodes for this. Oh, by the way, these green dots that you can see driving around or moving around on the mini-map are cars. Other cars you can speak to, so if you just drive over to them and run into them, like so, you can talk to them. If you take the road to the south out of Peach Town, you'll eventually come across the world's biggest bridge. Did you know that? You can even get pictures. It's called Island Bridge. You should check it out, yeah. 
Uh, we'll go there eventually. Um, now, as you were as we were driving over there, you might have noticed this thing. This is a coin, more specifically called a Q coin. We'll get into these in a little bit, but for now, actually, it'll be a little while before we talk about what those are good for. But uh, basically, pick them up. <laughs> You're gonna want them. Um, so yeah, let's see. There's some more buildings around here to go in a building, as I kind of did but didn't talk about on the parts shop, you just drive into the doorway, find the doorway and drive into it, and uh, you just get teleported inside pretty much. So there's Q's factory, it always has the same type of sign, oh, uh, we have the parts shop there, and then if we go over here, you can see the steering is not good. Uh, we have the police station, not every town has that. Um, there's a paint shop there, so we can actually change our colors, and uh, as much of a waste of money as it is, I really want to right now, because I'm not feeling the screen here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna come in here, and I am going to choose... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go with red, because I really like red. So we're gonna go lots of red, and take out these other colors here. <coughs> so there's red. You can also change the color of your, of your wheels here, as you can see. Um, but as far as I know, it costs extra to do that, so I'm not going to do that right now. Now, if I go black, uh, no, but up here, that's pretty cool, I suppose. Where is, uh, wait, what? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, this is, okay, I get it. This is if you just want to make everything the same color, and this is if you want, like, some accent work. Kind of like that, which I sort of do. Let's go like that. Uh, silver wheels are fine. Yeah, look if uh, if you if you uh, look at my price down there that I'm gonna be paying, I'm going from a thousand to nine hundred. But if I change the wheel color, it's an additional hundred dollars. So I'm just gonna leave it on silver wheels because that's fine and normal looking, anyways. So uh, we'll just go with that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. Yes, quit. All right. I don't think there is a body shop here. Well, oh wait, maybe there is. Uh, maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. Am I losing my mind? It's been a long time since I played. The yes, there it is, the body shop. Uh, characterized by the giant sign that says body with the, the shape of a car. Oh yeah, if you press triangle, I don't know why I press triangle to try and break there, but if you press triangle, you get to first person viewpoint. And this is where uh, you also see start to see a lot of the customization come out. So most of these, as far as I can tell, are based off of real cars, which is kind of cool. Um, I went through a brief stint where I was watching uh, quite a bit of Top Gear, so that's kind of cool. Um, I for a little while I actually used to be able to pick out a couple of these, but that again was a while ago. So there's a ton of options here, and this is only a tiny fraction of what uh, is actually available. Um, you can see this is all the way up to 145 here, and there are more. And obviously, if you look at the numbers as I go through here, they skipped a, a few. Um, well, they skipped a lot, really, but uh, that's because they will show up later. So for now, I'm okay with the car body we have. Um, you have uh, the potential to start with some really awesome looking bodies, but uh, I didn't get lucky this time, but that's all right. So there's another Q coin up there, and these ones are the hardest ones to get because you have to, like, finagle the, the edge of the thing. It's, it's, it's really hard to do. Um, I can't remember how to do it off the top of my head right now. Uh, yeah, I, I, we'll figure that out another time. Um, let's see, what else can we do? I suppose we can... Time's, oh yeah, so we got lots of time here. I probably want to do uh, 25 to 30 minute videos in this, and since it's open world, I can, for the most part, I can stop whenever I feel like, um, or stop whenever I need to, I should say. Oh yeah, and sometimes there are random other items on the ground, such as this little coin purse here. Well, it might not be a coin purse, but it's a purse of some sort. And so, uh, let's go into one of these houses and see what the people inside have to say. So this guy is a racer named Wolf. And, uh, we'll, we'll be able to do more stuff with him later. Um, where else? Could go in that Radio Peach building. Oh, hey, Q coin. We're gonna grab that. Yeah. Uh, thank you. There we go. There's an upgrade eventually that you can get that actually puts those on your mini-map as, uh, as yellow dots. Hello, I'm gonna run into you. 
I want to open a Q's factory. I could change race car parts. There's a feature in that, right? Sure, of course there is. Let me know if you find a good place. I will remember that. And we should remember that for later. Uh, this house. I think I remember what this house has for us. Maybe? Wait, Mountain, but I enjoy living in Peach Town. Okay. Uh, there is... Okay, let me try to... Let's see, notebook. Ah, yes, so this is kind of where you get to see some of your collectibles here. So stamps are a type of collectible in this game that are insanely varied. I think there are a hundred stamps in total. And basically you just get these. These are basically like quote-unquote achievements, like what you'd see on Xbox or trophies on PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 3, that is. So, um, And then here are any of the pictures you can take. Again, this is a form of collectible, and there are a hundred in all. And the results, these are all of your all of your uh, race results here, pretty much. So, yeah, we only have that one down right there. Uh, warping is for when we get to other towns eventually, but... Yeah, let's see, is this the house I was thinking? There's one house in particular that I was thinking of. Ah, this is the one. Little Kevin's missing, oh, where can he be? Hey you, don't just stand there, please help, help me find him. Alright, so this is another kind of... Thing. There are like unofficial side quests, sort of secondary objective mission thingies. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to what to call them really, but um, yeah. So basically, a person sometimes will ask you. Oh, that's how you get over that. I thought it was something along those lines. Just ram the side of the, just ram it at like a pretty shallow angle, and you get launched up onto it. Not like that. That was too steep of an angle. Anyways. Um, yes, there are certain times where uh, people will ask you to do things for them, and you do them for them, and you get a stamp, and sometimes some other rewards, too. So this happens to be Kevin, right here. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just, we'll just run him back to his house real quick. There we go. <laughs> and sometimes they're just like, get out of here. Um, but there's a stamp, so that's, that's one of the ways you can get a stamp is you just do various things in in the world uh, I promise this gets better I know it looks like really just cheesy and, and, and stupid right now but I promise you uh, this gets so much cooler later on in the game so let's head back to Cube's factory real quick here don't worry there's a lot to explore but we have uh, I, I don't plan on I don't have like a set number of episodes I want this to be so should have lots and lots and lots of time so we got new, what did we get? New steering, that's it. There we go, so 1.5 times normal steering. So that's pretty good. I wonder if that is going to be enough to help us win a race. Let's try that race one more time. You're gonna be doing the same races over and over and over and over again to get, either to get money or just to try and get uh, first place or, or better your position, various things like that. So expect to, expect that to happen. Um, Eventually, I'll probably start cutting out a lot of the repeat races uh, and just like letting you guys know at the end of my grinding when I'm done grinding for money in the races. I'll just let you know, like, hey, this, you know, I did a few races and I got this much money. Just so that everyone knows where I'm at as far as what I'm getting from all of it. Um, but that way, it doesn't get too tedious for you guys to watch. And as you can see, our steering. Just having the first steering upgrade is meaning we are not uh, squealing and drifting through these uh, corners anymore, which is fantastic. And just on the first lap, you can see how much of a difference that has made, which is great. Don't come down and hit me, thank you. I'm just going to pass you on the outside. Whoa, 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 a little too much there. Okay, here we go. I used to play a ton of the uh, NASCAR games on the PS2 when I was a lot younger. So I have that kind of background, at least. Um, not that this has a whole lot to do with NASCAR, but I know some of the terminology. Going high, going low, things like that. Hello, goodbye. Passed him real easy, but he does have a stronger engine than me. This we've seen uh, in the last race. So we want to be aware of that. We can see him on our mini-map coming up behind us, and I think there's a way to look behind, whoops, well, R1 is the horn, so I found that, <laughs> uh, there's gotta be a way to, to look behind us, right, uh, let's see, wouldn't be, is it down, is it one of the directions, oh, you can use the D-pad to turn, apparently, but there we go, we got first place, 
wonder if it's a L3 or R3 to do that. So, uh, yeah, that went a lot better than last time, and as you can see, the first place prize is $800, whereas the second place prize is only $500, so pretty significant buff there. Uh, that was great. So, it doesn't actually matter what you say there. Um, let's go back to driving around town, and this is the part where the game doesn't really tell you what to do, and it can get a little, like, where do I go now? Um, but I hopefully will be... Uh, somewhat of a guide through that. So let's go back in here. I probably want a new engine next. So let's get, whoopsies, yes, let's get a new engine. I have 1,200. Um, brakes are, yeah, sports tires. Let's get some sports tires. Um, that doesn't leave us with a whole lot of money, but we'll go back to Q's, put those on, and then we will continue looking around Peach Town here for a little while. I'm not gonna try to complete everything in every town as we go through. Uh, that would take forever, and we would probably never get anywhere cool. Um, not in a significant amount of time, anyway. So, new engine uh, uses more energy or fuel, uh, but it has 30 more power, which is nice. Um, and our tires are pretty much a flat-out upgrade by one star in both categories, which is cool. So, uh, there we go. I think we will just go ahead and drive around town. Faster way to, uh, I just remembered, faster way to get to the drive around town uh, option is just press triangle and it goes straight to it. Oh, look at that. That was a nice turn right there. I wonder if I can finagle this here. hey -ah! <laughs> Yes, got it. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, just do exactly that. That's how you get that. Uh, so there's not a building there. Um, that's just the body shop. Let's go to uh, this one over here. Graphics are not insane, but I, it's fine. I don't even care. The gameplay is fun, and that's what matters. Uh, so, oh yes, the bar in Peach Town. The Coro Q coins. This is uh, talking a little bit more about them. Um, and this guy basically is. Uh, this guy basically will tell you where some of them are. So that's kind of helpful. Um, like I said, there is that one. Uh, Nah, not for now. There is that one upgrade you get eventually where they show up on your minimap, but even that is is only, you know, obviously good for the range of your minimap, so if you still can't find some that you're looking for, then you can go to him. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the quick pick stations because uh, I'm not going for a completionist run right now. Newman. Grand Grandpa Tal. He's a weird guy who lives east of Peach Town. Rolls barrels of people. Well, that doesn't seem very nice. Hang on, let me see, uh... I think it's right over here, isn't it? Inside of this mountain or something? Oh boy, some off-road here. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, let me try and read the sign. What does that say? Taru Taru. Whatever that means. Well, hello! He loves to roll barrels. You'll have to dodge the barrels to get to the top. Sure, there's a ton of mini-games and side activities to do in this game as well. Again, just kind of fun. So, you get to see a good, for a minute there anyways, for a second. Oh, darn, just clipped it. You get to see kind of where they're laid out. So if you can, you can try to remember that. Yeah, I'll try it again. Why not? Oh, boy. Uh, they are not letting me see. Okay, right side's clear for a while. Oh, boy. It's harder than it looks, I promise you. Oh no, I was not getting out of that one. Okay, maybe we'll come back to this another time, because I do want to progress. But uh, this just gets you a stamp. It might get you something else, but I can't remember. Oh man, I, my head is loaded with all of the all of the crazy stuff you get later on. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much of it, though. I'll say this. Uh, among one of the least crazy things that you get that's still pretty crazy and awesome um, is actually a... A uh, pair of jets, or not jet skis, water skis that you put on the front of your car that allow you to drive on top of water. And it doesn't make any actual sense, like physically, but it uh, is really cool. I keep pressing circle to brake, and that's not the brake button. That is the reverse button, and it's not as good at stopping, obviously. Who are you? Fight. Oh. That's an interesting name. Finding a magazine for him. Oh, cool. Hero Supercard. Okay. So this is another little side quest that you can do. 
And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to remember how to get to the next part of the world. Let's go to the map. And uh, this doesn't tell you much, but it tells me enough of what I need to know. So we need to go west. Basically, that island in the middle of the bay there that has that long bridge, that's where we want to go next. So that's where I'm going to try to start making my way uh, for the most part here. Oh, next city. That sign said it. Okay, well, I want to just... I feel like I forgot something. Ah, I did forget something. I just saw it as we drove by. This right here. This is another thing that uh, there's a few opportunities for throughout the game. It's a coffee shop, uh, but what's great about what's, what's great about this for us? This crowd died, and that's sad. But what's great for us is that he wants us to put a sign on top of our car, and for every mile that we drive, he'll pay us a little bit of money, which is nice. So this is a passive way to gain money while you're driving around on your adventures, which is kind of cool. And uh, when you think you've driven quite a few miles, you can just talk to him and see. So there we go. So it's, the sign looks a little goofy, uh, but uh, it is a good way to earn money just passively. Uh, let me think. What else is there? Uh, let's see here. Let's drive out this way and see what we can find. I think this is the way that I'm thinking of. Ah, yes, it appears to be. So I think it's uh, this house on the left here. We can go in and see who's in here. Best, huh? That's an interesting name as well. Okay. Interesting little tip, I guess. Uh, let's try the next house and see what's in there. Maybe something cool. Maybe not. I like these car bodies, man. They all look so much cooler than mine. President's so unpredictable. He's turning over the presidency of the winner of a race. Okay, cool. We uh, we knew that because we 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 were the fly on the wall in that in that room when that when that conversation took place. So if we go over here, we see a peach orchard, kind of neat, and we see a coral Q coin back here, and we want that, and we want to come around here. It, it, I am missing the door by a lot. And there we go. Hey, are you new here? Our delicacy is peach wines. Oh, cool. He gave us some peach wine. Nice. I don't know if peach wine can actually be made or exists in real life. I assume it could be, but I don't know. So there we go. That's another stamp. Uh, not that I'm deliberately going for it, of course, but... And if we go this way... There's a one more house, and then this road goes uh, another direction, but we will explore that and the next city in the next part. Because after this house, I'm going to head back to the, uh, the Q's factory so I can save Jones. Uh, what the? can't believe that. Adventure Jones didn't even feel your presence. Perhaps you have what it takes to be an adventurer, too. How about it? You want to test your skills? Oh, yes. This is a collectibles quest, and he basically wants you... I won't uh, go through this now, but... Um, he wants you to go around and find some gems that are scattered on the map, and you can actually see roughly where they are if you look at the map behind him on the wall there. But that is a pretty lengthy collectibles quest, and it's meant to be, well, like most of the side quests in this game, they're just meant to be done over time. Just like, oh, if you come across it, then, you know, it's it's something you can grab. There's a cute coin behind that house, I saw it, but I'm not in uh, that dire of straits to get it. We're going to head back to the factory and uh, call that the episode, the first episode of, uh, of Road Trip. I'm pretty excited for this, because um, I know that we're going to get some awesome stuff later on. So uh, there we go. I uh, will call that good. So thank you very much for watching the first episode of Road Trip. I hope you're excited for the new series, and I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.